Well, she actually captured the medal from uh, Jen Lurgis, who is one of the biggest females on the roster. Known yeah, as the Australian Amazon. She's got good taste in music. She knows how to build anticipation, I'll tell you that. Gotta have a little bit of drama. If you don't mind me, I'm just gonna rock out to this beat right here. It's a big backstage, maybe, you know, she got lost. Shoot, if Jake got here so quick, maybe Emma's the one at the pub. Oh, there she is. Alright, she comes to us from Northern Ireland, weighing in at 110 pounds. She is your women's champion. Emma Gray! She's got to be on cloud nine right now with her recent accomplishment. Oh, definitely. She has, uh, she's definitely earned it. Because I've seen Emma fight long and hard to get that gold medal, and she definitely deserves it. You gotta love a story like that. You gotta love uh, seeing someone who really persevered and pushed for something like that finally get what they deserve. Now that's not to disparage the previous champion, uh, Jen. Jen also had to work very hard to get that medal. Even though she's able to steamroll most people, in BCW, she, like I said, she is the Australian Amazon and one of the biggest women on the roster. But we have our current champion in the ring. It looks like she has a mic in her hand, so she has something to say. Uh, Emma saying she couldn't find the mic backstage, hence the delay. But she found it. Now here she is. That's a fair reason. Alright, so last week I finally got my one-on-one -on -one match with Jen Logos with a gold medal and finally won it. This is the first time I've held any kind of title or medal in a year and a half and I'm not about to give it up anytime soon. I wouldn't blame you. For those who don't know me, back in the Fed this place used to be GCW. I held the title there for well over a year. 399 days, in fact. I'm not going to come out of here and bullshit you. I know that's not going to happen here, and this is why I wanted to make sure the women's roster were paying attention to what I'm going to say. I want to know who's going to step up and try to take it from me. Yes, Jen will get her rematch, but I know there's plenty of titles and gold medals, and hell, there's a former queen on the roster too. So bring it on. I'm not going to back down from anyone, but let's see who we've got. A former queen? I'm not sure who she's referring to with it. There's Shaza Wilson. I only faced her, I don't know, 10 or 12 times in GCW. I don't think I lost even once. There's Ophelia. We've had a few run-ins in various feds, but not in a while. I faced Candy literally a few weeks ago in another fed, and our match ended in a DQ when a crazy obnoxious redhead decided to attack me. That's an issue for another day in another fed. And Sarah Clayton, we haven't really met, but we'll see. Well, it looks she like someone's, 
Someone's answering the challenge, it seems. Oh. Oh boy. Who that? This coming to us from Houston, Texas, weighing in at 180 pounds. This is Sarah Jane Crowley. I'm not terribly familiar with Sarah Jane, but she looks like a dangerous lady. 180 pounds of pure muscle, it looks like. Let's see, and the champ says, oh, and of course, I nearly forgot about you, Sarah Jane Crowley. Let's see. She dragged me behind a motorbike, assaulted my fiancé on several occasions. We were also in a faction together, Sarah Jane, saying, yeah, I did bad things to you, and I did bad things with you. So you know, what happens next? It's gonna hurt. That sounds a stinky like a threat to me. Oh, and am I retaliating? Okay, you want this? We're in a shot in match in this match right now. It looks like Emma is going to allow Sarah a chance to uh, compete for the uh, gold medal. No. Now, did she say that she drug her behind her bike? Did I hear that right? Uh, I believe you did. That must have been before my time. Uh, it seems kind so, of... Huh. Ladies here are dangerous, huh? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're joining the uh, roster backstage and not me, Grace. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, come on. Who would, who would put me backstage? You don't want to harm this magnificent beard. That'd be a crime against humanity. <laughs> well, I can agree with you there. It's like all of the hair atop your head migrated to the front. Yeah, you know, I was born like this. Odin must be proud. He is. Alright, well, it looks like uh, Sarah Jane definitely has the height and uh, reach advantage here. <laughs> It's like looking at a funhouse mirror. And again, despite Sarah being a little, oh, I'm sorry, Emma being a little shorter, she's still the champion and there's a reason for that. Oh, but Sarah seems to know what she's doing as well. Yeah, like I said, I'm not terrible familiar with, uh, with Sarah Jane, but uh, definitely looks like she's a, uh, yeah, she looks kind of scary, Sarah declaring, now that's how you wrist lock someone. Jeez, and Sarah's just hammering on Emma, using that uh, boot strength of hers. You know what? In fairness, I can't really blame her. She's got her eyes set on the prize, and she's going for it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'd be disappointed if she wasn't. You gotta want it in this business. So the question is, who wants it more? That's a good question. Both these women are extremely determined, but... Honestly, with this match, my money is probably on Emma. I mean, she just won that medal, and she does not want to lose it anytime soon. And who can blame her? And Emma is not shying back at all, working her into that corner. Up and Emma up on the second rope, just pounding her fist into Sarah's head.
Oh! Stretching that leg over the rope. That's one thing about Emma, she'll do what Emma do to win. The ref counting, she's got till five to break it. Well, it looks like she let go. I may not approve the methods, but I mean, I can't argue with the results. No, it's still a clean match. I mean, Emma's, Emma's not disqualified. She's going to keep going. You got to do what you got to do to stay in the lead. Neck breaker and doing an attempted cover, but a kick out. I didn't see any rule bending. I saw some leg bending, but that's about it. <laughs> and Sarah is remaining completely unfazed by this. Just telling, just telling uh, Emma, you got to do better than that. Is she toying with her? Oh, Lord. She just might be. Big AA spine buster. Emma's Looks gotta like be feeling that. And Sarah's got that big that big arm locked around Emma's neck and a dragon sleeper. That knee Here. digging into her lower back as well. And Aaron jumping down, seeing if uh, Emma can continue. Emma struggling to breathe. Oh, what a great maneuver. Uh, Sarah took that dragon sleeper and turned it into a reverse suplex. That's just showing raw strength right there. It looks like Sarah's clutching onto that knee a little bit. So she's still hurting from getting it wrapped around the rope earlier. Looks like she's going to end it. And no. Uh, And Sarah looks like she's having a little trouble getting up. That knee's really starting to bother her. No, Emma hasn't even gotten up yet. Oh, look at that. Sarah helping Emma up. How nice. Yeah, just by a fistful of her hair. It's fine. Oh, Ooh. in with a big knee to the gut. Send her right back down. And back up. And another gut Oof. buster. And back up for a third time. Oh. I don't even know what that was, but it looked awesome. Bouncing her off the ropes, her gut off the ropes, and then slamming her back first down onto the mat. Just tenderizing Emma. I hate to say it, but Emma looks like she might be in trouble. Well, more than a little. There goes Sarah with the pin. No, still only a two count, but that was a close one. Emma just Gotta barely get a lot of pain. Yeah, really. I mean, she just got slammed on her gut twice. Looks like Sarah can't believe that Emma kicked out of that one. Emma's got to get her head in the game if she's going to actually pull this off. Oh, speak of the devil. There you go. Emma finally giving herself a little bit of breathing room. Well-deserved breathing room. If she can't rest for too long, she's got to get on top of Sarah and do it fast. I knew my <laughs> advice was great. There goes Sarah into the ropes. Big standing hurricane Rana. Oh, she's going upstairs. 
Uh, we might see Emma's finisher getting set up here. And a big flying crossbody. Is this it? No, still only a two. It's going to take a bit more than that. Both these women are probably just frustrated now. And neither can keep the other down. What do they have to do? Now, is that the same leg as uh, she was working before? Ah, uh, looks like it. She's got it all wrapped up in the uh, famous figure four leg lock. Right in the Doesn't middle of the ring. Doesn't classic than that. Uh, and Sarah has nowhere to go. The only way, to, the only way to fight back, Sarah could, could roll over and reverse the pressure. But can she manage to do it? Oh, uh, what is that? Oh, see, somehow Sarah is dragging her across the rig. Very slowly, she's trying to get to those ropes. If she gets a hold of the ropes, Emma has to let go. That takes tremendous upper body strength to pull off. There it is, she made it to the ropes. Emma has still count of five. Breaking it at three. Well, that leg wasn't messed up before. It is now. I don't know how, if at all, Sarah's, Sarah Jane is even going to get up. That might have been just what Emma needed to turn this thing around. Exactly. Emma needs to move in for the kill as quick as she can. Sarah back on her feet, climbing on the ropes with her back to Emma. This could be it. Oh, what a ch oh a chop block back into that knee again. Emma's just Oof. Emma's like a pit bull. She's going after that leg and not letting go. If she keeps this up, she may need assistance getting backstage. Well, that's what you're here for, Blaze. <laughs> <laughs> Volunteering me for that? Yeah, yeah. You can be a gentleman and help out. Uh, I can't be a gentleman. It's way too late for me. Not a good position for Sarah to be in. Oh, but Sarah manages to surprise all of us, sweeping the leg and knocking Emma down. But Sarah still have a problem getting back to her feet. She's down on one knee, barely getting up, and now she's just stomping all over Emma. I can't really blame her with the amount of punishment she's endured with that leg. I think every stomp is probably sending the spears of pain through her. Now Sarah's throwing Emma off the ropes. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Was that a triple German suplex? But she manages to kick out at the last second. Good lord. Half second. Millisecond even. I'm getting a report on my on my uh, on my headset here that Sarah Jane calls that move the twist eye at a trailer park. Irish maneuver. Sarah's putting in another good effort, but she's still clutching that knee. Who knows after this if she'll be able to compete still. And Emma's not moving. Fashion, no less. Oh, now she's grabbing Emma by the hair. Oh god, I don't even know what that was, but it looked nasty. I believe that's called a pump handle suplex. Both these women are exhausted now. You can see it on both their faces. I don't honestly, I, I don't even know how either of them have kept going this long. Well, 
But with something on the line like a title, you gotta leave it all there. That knee is Sarah gonna be able to make it across the ring? Oh, oh. not quick enough. I know with a heartbreaker. That's a it's very a, fitting name. There's a pin. It's a one, it's a two, and it's a Perfect three. Name, then. And your winner and still our women's champion is Emma Gray. And true to form, Sarah has got to be broken hearted about that. That was an incredible match. I mean, Sarah shouldn't feel any shame in losing after that performance. Uh, am I telling Sarah, maybe next time, but not today. Is Sarah going to be able to make it out on her own, though? Uh, it looks like she's slowly getting back up to her feet. She all right there, Aaron? There she goes. Uh, always good to see someone be able to walk out on their own. She seems nice. For someone who drags someone else behind a motorcycle, yes. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, that has been our show. Uh, Aaron Wilson is our ref. KC King is our cameraman. And on commentary, I am Dante Nalmova with... And I'm Blaze Cameron. We thank you for coming out. Everyone, have a great night and come see us again next week. <laughs>